Don't say that. Don't say that. <laughs> Intrusive thought. Don't say that. <laughs> Hi, welcome back to Besties Do Life. I'm Amanda. And I'm Jen. And today we just finished making our ramen dinner. Mine's not plated as nice as I hers. I haven't touched it yet. Um, yeah. yeah, that's true. I had a bite because I was starving. Well, um, so we just finished filming this. Had some technical difficulties. So that's okay. Um, and now we're going to do a little like mukbang, mukbang video. I googled very quickly just random topics to just just talk about and we came up with a list of like 20 things yeah. so i just thought we could ask each other the question and answer while we eat okay that is so good <laughs> the first one we're not doing the first one and we're not doing do you have any insecurities why would why would you ask that while people are eating that's that's very intense um that's a lot i want to enjoy my dinner okay what's something that people would be shocked to learn about you I think a lot of people are shocked when they not that i go around advertising it and not like i'm one of those girls but i play a lot of video games mm. and i think a lot of people are not necessarily shocked but it's just not something you'd expect mm. but I, I i love video games you for as long as i've known you you've played video games yeah, I'm, i've always been a i, I just love playing yeah. video games i have got all kinds of systems, all kinds of games. I just enjoy yeah. them. There's something nice to be able to like just escape, escape a little bit, yeah, for a little while, and just get totally like those games that you can just totally immerse yourself in, mm -hmm. and just yeah. I play video Were games. you raised playing video games? Yeah, my dad has always been a video game player, and then when um, when my parents divorced and he had a house, like. When my parents were together, they had like the OG Nintendo systems. Like we played Nintendo all day, every day after school. Right. And then when my parents split up, my dad got like the PS1 and he got a PS2. And like, so we always, always play video games. Nice. What about you? What um, would people be shocked to learn about you? I don't know. I, don't, I feel like, I don't know. <clears throat> I honestly, like, I feel like I'm an open book. Like, I feel like you are very open book it's not like you have like it's not like you're hiding anything you're not you don't yeah. have like, secrets um maybe like like i'm a huge fan of harry potter like maybe that i don't know like i have a sh like a shit ton of stuff in my room like you know i have like the um proclamations from harry potter and the order of the phoenix i have like I did, like I did, like Harry Potter Lego. I have that all in my bookshelf. Like maybe that. I don't yeah. Know. Mm. I mean, that's really cool to be into something like that. Mhm. Mm that just comes from childhood. Like I've been a fan of Harry Potter my entire life. Did you read all the books? Mhm. Mm mm -hmm. And I, I have all the audio books, so if I fall asleep listening to them every single night. Aww. They're, I think they're that's like sweet. my comfort thing. Yeah. You know? Um. Okay. We're only picking the questions that suit us. <laughs> well, a lot of them are like kind of intense. What's one thing you're looking forward to doing in the near future? <laughs> Different question? No, it's okay. We can answer. Okay. I can, I'll talk about my favorite food. For me, <laughs> I'll go first. You go first. You think it over. <laughs> you think about how honest you want to be here. <laughs> mm. I'm going to Scotland in September. And yeah, I'm not looking forward to that. <laughs> oh my God, you're going to be fine. I'm going for two weeks. I'm going with my dad and my sisters. Um, I'm leaving in September. I am very, I'm looking forward to it so much. I'm so excited. We created a playlist um, that all four of us ha are like adding songs to. And I was listening to it coming here and we added like Scottish sing songs and stuff. And it like got me like pumped. Like I was like no, going along to the bagpipes and stuff. Yeah, yeah I was, I was, I'm so pumped for that. So that's happening very soon. Mm -hmm. Less than two months. 
You have a countdown? Yeah. Every day we text each other. 62 days, 61 days. That's so cute. Yeah. Um, what's the worst advice you've ever received? You don't have Ooh. to say who it's from. Oh, well, maybe you should. Do you want well, me to go first? That's a, I actually, that's a hard one. I don't, I, I think don't know. the worst advice that I've ever received, and I feel like a lot of women and girls can relate to, is when you were in like primary school and a boy was being mean to you and they're like, mm. oh, he just has a crush on you and that's how he, I think that's the worst advice you can give to little girls. Mm-hmm. Or like anyone in general when they're when they're growing, like, it skews your entire view well, of relationships. It, yeah, like, and you're like, oh, if he's mean or if they're mean, that means they love me. Mm -hmm. It's it's just so. I was talking about that with my mom, and she, my mom never said that to us ever. No, it was like more like teachers. <laughs> but it was like, like teachers, yeah. And my mom said she was like, I. She's like, you're right. Like I never realized sort of how toxic that is. It's insanely toxic. Yeah. Um, oh, one of the things that I hated the most when I was in high school, I didn't like excel at the academic side of school. I did much better with hands-on learning mm -hmm. and I went to my guidance counselor and I wanted to do co-op. I wanted to go and do co-op somewhere and learn something on the job. And the guidance counselor told me, no, he said, no, your marks are too good in academics. So you are not going to do co-op because you're going to go and do something at university. You're going to go to university. Surprise, I didn't end up going to university. I went to college for culinary skills and I'm not really using that. Yeah. But yeah, that was awful. Yeah. I didn't I didn't stick up for myself enough and, and I just said, oh, okay, I guess you know what's best. And so I didn't get to do co-op. And I just, I wonder like How, what... What you would be doing now? Mm -hmm. Like co-op where? I don't, I didn't have a place in mind. In high school, you had a list and you just picked from the list. Mm. So who knows where I would have been, what I would have been doing. Mm -hmm. Maybe everything happens for a reason. Maybe not. Who knows? Yeah, guidance counselors in high schools can be like, the, the odds are make or break you. Mm -hmm. And um, yeah. I was never, frustrating. I, I don't think I ever went to my guidance counselor. Oh my gosh, I had to go so much. I had to change mm -hmm. like, I had to change my timetables. I had to change what classes. I had oh. to change, I had to change all kinds of stuff all the time. Oh. If you could give your younger self advice, what would it have been? Don't take yourself so seriously. Mm. Enjoy your life and don't be constantly worried about what other people are thinking. Mm -hmm. I am, we are, I'm 28, you're 28, mm -hmm. you'll be 29 this year, I'll be 28, but like we're old enough now where we realize it doesn't matter what people think, yeah. but up until this point, like I even last year and the year before, I was still just so constantly worried about what other people are thinking of you. Yeah. It's not important. Everybody's worried about their own thing. Nobody is that yeah. invested in you. And if they are, sucks to be them. Yeah, sucks to suck. Like. Yeah. Um, God, I don't know. I feel like I have blocked out so much from like my childhood and my teen years and stuff that I like, I don't know. I, um, yeah, like I don't, I had a pretty good group of friends in high school. Mm -hmm. Um, I don't know. I literally don't really remember. No. Would you tell your younger self to go down a different career path? Yeah. I mean, there are certain moments in my life where like I, for the longest time I wanted to be like a marine biologist and someone was like, no, you're not smart enough for that. Mm -hmm. And then I was just like, okay, I'm not doing that then. And then like, if I could tell myself, my younger self something it's just like if someone says you're not good enough for something like try it and see for yourself don't just take their word for it don't take yeah. someone else's word um not that i think i would have been a marine biologist like you have to be very smart to do that and i'm i'm not gifted at going to school like i suck at doing essays and like tests and stuff um i don't know but like, to at least have tried to at least have tried something different like I was really scared about going to university. I just didn't think it would be for me. Mm -hmm. um, and um, like, I wonder if I, what I would be doing now if I had gone to university. We wouldn't have met each other. That's true. We would not have met each other. So, you know, say mm -hmm. lovey. Mm-hmm. No, no. Um, that's a loaded question. Mm-hmm. 
What was one of your most embarrassing childhood memories? This one keeps me up at night. I've told you this one before. Told me? Yeah. Mm. When I was younger, my parents got divorced. No biggie. Like, it happens to, like, I think it's, like, 70% now. Like, most. Mm -hmm. Anyways, a lot of kids our age, their parents got divorced. And I have a younger sibling. So I kind of took it all in stride, acted like the big, tough older sister. Mm -hmm. Like, nothing bothers me. So one day, I remember this vividly. I was sitting on the playground at school. I was crying. And that's what I was crying about. I was crying about the divorce. But I, didn't, I definitely have told you this. I, I remember you sitting on I don't remember the ending. So I had these two older girls came up to me and they asked me, they're like, oh, are you okay? Like, is everything oh. all right? What are you crying about? <laughs> Tell me why I told these girls that I was crying because I lost my favorite tooth. My like my favorite tooth had fallen out of my mouth. I, that's what I told them. Do I was they, crying about. Do you think they even like think about that so much? <laughs> like, I really hope not. I really hope they have erased that from their memories, but it keeps me up at night. Because like, girl, why did you say that? <laughs> <laughs> what like makes me feel like people don't remember those things is because I try to think of like other kids in my class, like their embarrassing moments, and I'm like I can't think of one. I can think of all of mine, but I literally could not pluck out a memory of anyone else's I'll embarrassing tell. moment. There's one kid who peed in the chair in kindergarten. Like we had he plastic was? chairs, and he peed in the chair. There was like a okay, but that's like very traumatizing for everyone. <laughs> in this, in <laughs> that's situation. traumatizing for everyone involved. Um, um, but yeah, that's. <laughs> Do you want to know what my reaction to my parents getting divorced? I was seven, so like really young. I didn't fully like, maybe I was six also. Like I could have been like, I don't know. Um, I didn't fully grasp what like divorce meant. And so in my memory, my memory is very like chop, 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 like, you know, whatever. So in my memory, we sat down, they told me and my sisters. And when I remember being at, staples mm -hmm. and they had the lisa frank you know with like the unicorn and like the leopard tiger and like very like whatever i bought a notepad of that or, or i like when someone bought me a notepad i wrote my parents sorry about your divorce like like but like in a happy way like like letters to them she didn't know what was going on i didn't i fully did not grasp i i'm like have a vivid memory of like writing them a letter and like being like sorry about this <laughs> So, sorry so sorry um <laughs> thanks for buying me the sleeves of frank stuff <laughs> yeah um that's not really embarrassing though that's just like me being a stupid kid and being like i don't understand what's happening <laughs> my most embarrassing i can't no i can't even say my most embarrassing <laughs> is the squirrel like the sandy the squirrel story i told you <laughs> The worst is that it didn't happen when I was in childhood. It happened when I was in high school. Um, you know what? It's okay. So in high school, I had a math class. And at the beginning of the class, the teacher would ask us, I think it was 10 questions. And if you got all of the questions right, you got to leave the class like 15 minutes early. And so uh, the one day he asked um, us to name like three or five different animals that hibernate in the winter. <laughs> so... <laughs> <laughs> immediately my mind went to spongebob <laughs> and sandy the squirrel hibernating <laughs> i yelled out <laughs> with my chest i was like this is it this is the one i know we're this gonna one. This out early like we're gonna be good i'm gonna be the hero of the class i screamed out squirrel and <laughs> it was just like dead silence <laughs> and the teacher goes he's like um, can I ask you something? He's like, in the winter time, have you ever seen a squirrel? Out? And I sat there and I was like, oh, I definitely have seen a squirrel in the winter. <laughs> I definitely have like a, a memory of a squirrel like running through snow. And he's like, yeah. So what does that tell you? Like, <laughs> um, and we didn't leave fifteen minutes early. No, he called you out. And he was like, you're dumb. <laughs> you're stupid. <laughs> this is why you're not going to be a marine biologist. <laughs> oh my god. That is like a deep memory. Like that's like a deep embarrassing memory. These things haunt us to our core. Keep <laughs> us up at night. Girlies with anxiety will relate. Yeah. Yeah. 
But like, how messed up is that for SpongeBob to put that episode out there? Okay, let's not put SpongeBob. But I also was like a full teenager. Like I was in grade <laughs> grade ten. You should have. I'm sorry. Why do they have an episode where Sandy hibernates? I don't. I, like, like I remember I, the episode where, where she's like a and she like comes up like a grizzly and she comes out like feral. <laughs> yeah. Like I and she literally says I'm hibernating for the winter. Mm -hmm. Why would they do that? Why would SpongeBob <laughs> do that to you? As if that's the most fu like far fetched thing in the whole show. Yeah, it's not a show about a walking sponge and sea star. But... The episode where there's like fire underwater. They're having a campfire underwater. Oh my god, no, but my favorite is when SpongeBob does his interpretive dance. SpongeBob, Squidward. Squidward, yeah. Where he and like, like, like the arms ball. and he like, yeah. like the whole thing. The whole thing had me in a trance. What's the joke that, like, they're doing like a stand up show, right? When SpongeBob just kept keeps saying a word. I don't remember that part. I literally only remember Squidward's dance. Or the episode where he's, he's like, He's like down rock bottom. He's in rock bottom, and every time he goes to reach for the the kelp part, the butt's like. <laughs> or Doodle Bob. I I don't like Doodle Bob. The Doodle Bob no, he like that me scared out. me. What was the episode where they go into like a cave? And then there's an episode where I just had like a glimpse of it in my mind, and I it's gone. Okay, anyways, Do you remember all the episodes like at the beach with Larry the Lobster. Oh my god. Big jacked lobster. Where he rips his pants? <laughs> no, um... You know, in like, whenever there's like a car crash or something, there's always someone in the back goes, MY LEG! <laughs> <laughs> I still quote that to this day. My like, leg. If something happens, it's like, MY LEG! Um... Or, um... When they go to like the town over, that's like the perfect version of the handsome Squidward's there. Oh my god. You remember when Plankton... Spoiler alert. <laughs> 20 years later. Plankton finally finds the secret. I don't remember that. Like, he finally finally we talked about this a oh month ago, God. and I'm like, I don't remember him ever finding the, the and it has Plankton in it. Okay, when you let... Oh, sorry. That's my bad. Plankton finally finds the Krabby Patty secret formula, and, like, he's going through the ingredients, and the bottom ingredient is Plankton, and it's a picture of him. <laughs> I don't have any memory of that. You remember his robot girlfriend, Karen? The com yeah, the, com the computer. Yeah. Okay. So. That was delicious. That was. That was phenomenal. <laughs> that was really good. Did you like it? Bit? Yeah, that was like really good. Yeah, yeah, I like the sauce. So, if you haven't already, subscribe. Hit the subscribe button. Stick around. We do lots of fun things like this, taste tests, bestie versus bestie. We've been we've been killing the bestie versus yeah. besties lately. Yes. I'll link that playlist yeah. down below. Um our taste testing videos. Oh, too. our taste testing videos. We taste test some a lot of fun stuff. Yeah. Leave us a comment down below of some things you'd like us to taste test. And stuff that you want us to make. Anything you want us to cook. Yeah. And we will see you in the next one. Bye. Bye.